Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is the, I don't even know what today's date is. I don't know is that days is kind of running together with uh, working and not working and just taking days off. Anyway, guys, we'll get out here trying to catch a couple fish. One bait in particular is the Z-Man Jackhammer with a uh, reaction, no, Rage Menace rub as a trailer. And that's what we're gonna use on my Enigma HPT. And I got the SLX. So guys, let's get right to it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, see if we can catch a couple of these fish. Chocolate, chocolate milk, water. Came out here first a couple days ago and uh, actually caught a couple. I hit one that was on a bed. The reason why I know she's on a bed is because her tail was bloody. So, that being said, we're gonna move down a little further, see if we can catch a few more, uh, see if we can catch some bigger ones. So, guys, stay tuned, stay locked. Let's go get them. All right, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see if we can get going early this morning. If we can't catch us a couple. It's chocolate milk water. The Z Man uh, jackhammer is ideal for catching bed and bass. It's actually what I caught a few on a couple days ago. Kind of figured out what zone they're in. So we're gonna come back and see if we can't catch something that's even bigger. The only thing we gotta watch out for is a bunch of duck poop, well, geese poop. Goose poop. There's tons of them out here. Now I'm fishing with a 16 pound Sunlight FC Sniper. I was using Sunlight FC, FC Assassin. I just think I like the FC Sniper a little bit better. Smoother casting. Um, Got that nice and ooh, I don't know if that was out. It's got a nice shiny new look to it, but then again, I just put it on, so I'm sure that's gonna fade away at some point. Either way, I'm trying to see if we can locate any more bass that could be bedding. Along the shoreline, pretty sure there's gonna be some more in somewhere. But I got that on a high gear ratio. Oh my god! <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> As I'm talking about it, it happens. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable, guys. Already. Hadn't even been here 10 minutes. Check him out. First blood, first fish. Let's get away from this guy. Definitely a spawning female. She's got that bloody tail right there. She's guarding. She's in the spot where she should have been. I just knew after catching a couple of other days. These fish should be over here. Three point seven inch C three point seven five. There we go. Decent fish. There we go. Oh. 
first fish. Guys, I wasn't even looking. When uh just caught that guy. Either way, this is this is what I like to do. My chatter base. Take a raised menace and rig it and put it sideways so it actually looks like a uh, the fins of an actual fish, like a bluegill. Bluegill imitation jackhammer. This is a half ounce, as you can see. This thing is busted up, guys. I've been using it, putting it in all kinds of places where it, a lot of people wouldn't normally throw a, a bladed jig or a jackhammer. But you see, this on my what third cast in the area. And that fish was definitely, she's definitely guarding or just in that spawning area. She's definitely doing something. As you can tell, her, her tail was definitely bloody. But either way, that's one fish down. Let's uh, see who else is home out here. chocolate milk water guys these fish are definitely gonna spawn they might start spawning a little bit later this could be a this could actually be the, just a second wave of spawners out here but either way spread it in my face Get out of here. either way just casting that strike zone this time of the year this is what you call blind bed bed fishing that's what I like to call it blind bed fishing because you can't see the beds. You just kind of, you already know what area they're going to be in. Just, just keep casting in those same areas. You ain't bound to hook up on one. Good first fish, guys. I saw a three and a half pound, almost four pound fish. Just rolling it through. Nice and easy. You might not get them on that first pass through. Just get their attention that first couple times and then be just close enough. She might be just a little bit further off. Try something like a one cast out here. Let's see if there's any post post spawners out this way somewhere just when they eat. And right now what I'm noticing is this dead calm flat. Like this is like one of the times you can really, really detect any movement around along the strike zone, along that the spawning zone close upon the bank. Anytime like this and it's just chocolate milk kind of this is when you can really just see where these fish are and once you see them roll or just starting to chase off bait fish or whatever they're doing or not chase bait fish chase off bluegill any fish that may be trying to move in to eat their eggs that's when you can just kind of sight fish or blind bed fishing so to speak And I like to use this. Oh, I like to use this uh, jackhammer because it has a searching ability. Unlike the original, the original kind of just goes straight through the water. With this jackhammer, she searches, bounces off the stuff, and sometimes I just kind of give it a couple, a couple 
multiple parts. And I just eat it. No question. Alright. Right there's like a little rock point straight ahead, right over there. It already lets me know it's a high, hard bottom surface. It also lets me know that it's a high likely spot to have a bass that is potentially to try to lay eggs. Right around in there somewhere. Chances are. Is either bed there or it was there one. It was one there, shall I say. So I'll just keep casting over there to see. As I'm rolling through there, I can feel it bumping off the rocks, and that's what I mean by putting your baits in places where a lot of people may or may not even think to try it. It's gotta be a fish right there, guys. show themselves. It could be wrong, it could not be a fish, could be a turtle, could be a bluegill, catfish, crappy. Either way, you never know. Jeez, try it. Definitely not skinny, he's definitely doing his thing. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh just a little early morning session of bass fishing. Trying to find a bigger bite. Uh I actually did catch that first one, the very first fish, really very, really, 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 really fast. Well, that was kind of crazy. Rather fast. Um up shallow, exactly where she should have been based off of what I noticed, what I've observed a couple days ago a couple fish three fish exactly uh, i'll throw up a couple pictures here in a second i caught them very very shallow and all three were spawning bass one female a couple buck males very solid not skinny so they're still in that, that zone still in that, that mode of uh, spawning so guys get on the water go grab you some of those jackhammers if you're fishing muddy water wherever you are around the country hit those strike zones and just keep Roll casting through there, just keep rolling it through there, and eventually you get bit. That's if you're fishing on foot. If you're not fishing on foot, it might be a little bit harder to, to get parallel to the bank unless you, you know, get the right boat position and everything. Then, then you work on something. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next episode. Peace. <laughs>